the money war, the war of wages. Strike in South Africa where the battle lines are drawn. And the unit, unity, uh, sorry, the union, which is the unity of the workers, say to people, pay with your lives. And this has become South Africa's worst ever industrial action. And the government vowed to introduce the instant 24-hour justice of the World Cup courts in a last-ditch bit to bring brutal strikers to book at the National Education, Health and Allied Workers Union. As they, the union warned terminal patients in the Cape Town hospitals that they should negotiate with their lives for essential life support systems to be continued. And a nurse says at one of the hospitals, why should we care when someone dies because we are not at work while the government doesn't care about our lives. This is all about money. They would all like more money. Obviously what is fascinating is they don't even know where the money is coming from. If you look at the South African budget, 21% of all the taxes paid in South Africa goes to interest to pay for loans. The moment the government pays higher salaries, they have to borrow money and they have to pay interest. One-fifth of all the money that is collected as tax in South Africa goes to interest. The money system is absolutely screwed up and here we have it. War about money, about work, about wages, salaries. <coughs> and this is not going to get better. It's going to be like this every year. And it's going to get worse and worse and worse and there is no solution. There is not enough money. <coughs> More and more, the tax net is actually collecting less money because you have more corporations and less businesses. Uh, many farms has failed. If you start looking at the whole thing um, with the credit crunch, massive amounts of money was no longer moving in circulation. This is fascinating how this point is just continuously spiraling into the abyss where we are looking at a continuous economic Armageddon in the world and uh, you can check out the signs of the times here with the signs of the times news hear me what you thought was the end of the world is actually an extended story of suffering for billions and more and more will be pulled down into that pit of never-ending suffering with no food, no security, no certainty, do not know what will happen tomorrow no matter what you try, there's not enough work, there's not enough money. One man, one vote, equal money system, equal life foundation, we have an answer there is also with Destiny shortly to be launched the Destiny Income Plan which through participation and re-education of oneself one will end up in a situation of financial stability and through that you will also be able to rebuild your will of life, your integrity, your inner power <coughs> and you'll be able to help others to do the same until we have a new world of equality See what we do at Destiny. It takes guts to take responsibility. So, you come and abuse the Destonians, you'll get nowhere because they are people with willpower. They stand in their own name. They have integrity. They stand by principles and they live this. Nothing can stop that. <coughs>